All right, next topic we're going to talk about is the Triller, Dana White. Dana White blocks GSP De La Hoya. So I guess there's talks. Uh, De La Hoya wants to have a, a Triller fight. He's been in talks with Dana White. And there was words that GSP was in the mix. Or De La Hoya was calling out GSP. Um, and then Dana Dana rips Triller and gets post-fight. Calls it a joke. He doesn't give a about, about it. <laughs> um and GSP has yet to open acknowledge the fight, so he hasn't really talked about it. Uh, I think that that would be a, a good fight. I would pay to watch that fight, but I don't think that's smart for GSP to just come out of retirement and, and f- fight a great boxer like De La Hoya. Even though De La Hoya has been, you know, s- sniffing coke and banging strippers, <laughs> probably. <laughs> yeah, uh, I probably know he's been doing that. But uh, I don't think it's smart for GSP just to come out of retirement and fight someone like that. And uh, what do you, what do you think about it? Yeah, no, I I think, you know, De La Hoya was one of the best boxers of all time. He's been retired for quite some time. He wants to make some money. Um, It's a little unfortunate for GSP because he was like, you know, one of the goats of the UFC. And uh, he he hasn't fought since he fought Bisping for that middleweight title. But it would suck because if you were in that that position for GSP and you can go make a quick million or two, three million, whatever he could get, like you would want that opportunity. so I, I might be a little upset, but I also, you'd be stepping into De La Hoya's, like that's that's what he's an expert in, you know? So it's like, if it was reverse, then I, you know, GSP would kill him in a in a, a regular fight, but a boxing match, it's kind of like, uh, yeah, he's probably gonna lose. Um, even though GSP, he, you know, he's worked with Freddie Roach and, and great uh, MMA coaches over the years. But uh, yeah, it's, it, it's a tough, decision yeah i wonder when de la hoya's last fight was because he doesn't look like the same de la hoya he looks like about 40 pounds heavier yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know i know he's in part i know some people who party with de la hoya and I've, I've heard some funny stories about the guy so um he, he's probably spent a lot of money money over the years on on you know partying and all that stuff he 48 years old right mm-hmm. <laughs> 48 years old so He's not moving like he used to. He used to be real fast, and I'm sure he still has hands, and he's a great boxer. But some somebody needs to fight the guy and get paid. I I want to see that. I want to see De La Hoya back in the ring. Yeah, I I like what's going on. I like unlike a lot of the MMA community, the spectacle of Triller with these singers and YouTubers. <laughs> it's entertainment, you know. Yeah, and it's sure. it's fun to watch, and they're making a lot of money. So the pay per view king over here, Dana, you know. He, there's, he doesn't believe in their numbers. There's got to be, maybe jealousy is not the right word. He doesn't want them seeing big pay-per-views every three months from Triller. And he especially doesn't want to see them knocking out his UFC goats. Yeah. So, and a part of me wants me to like, let's send some of those good fighters over there, not the Ben Askren, to, to finish these guys. Like the Jake Pauls, Taiwan Woodley's trying to get over there and fight them. So it's weird. It's a weird time for MMA and boxing, this this spectacle that's going Let's on. Let's get Israel Adesanya in there. I think he would do good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That, would, that would be a good one. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching the MMA Rundown brought to you by Fandle. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time.